I'm going to change the way I do things a little bit and let my subscribers and or commenters determine what my next video might be about. That might generate a little bit more interest and drive up the view count, if not the s subscriber numbers, just a little bit. Because one way or another, before the actual election starts, I'd really like to get to a thousand subscribers. So I have to change tactics, make things, in things interesting or different, so that people might actually take an interest. When I bought the old Datsun Z, everybody said it was junk. At least why the majority of the car guys in this town. But I gave it a good once over and determined that it could be saved with a little time, a little thought, and a little effort willing to give up on it even though others had said that it was a lost cause that there was no point in even trying never mind the people who said it couldn't or wouldn't be done by me whenever somebody says I can't do it or tries to put limitations on me I take that as a challenge because I don't know what my limitations are, and I'd be more than happy to push myself right to the edge. And then, just as a side interesting story, I have my little friend I let stay on the porch. I'm more than happy to stroke her fur, give her a little food from time to time. All I ask is that she doesn't walk on my car. I could have easily took the easy way out and only fixed the mechanical things on this car and made it last as long as I could and call my investment a little bit of fun for a little bit of while. And yes, I said a little bit of while on purpose. The more I worked on this car, the more I realized that it deserved more. I had one of these years ago that ran like a Swiss watch that looked pretty damn good even though it was already infected with rust. But it was too far gone to save. I've been a mechanic for years and years. I've quite literally fixed enough stuff to fill a football stadium to the top. But that's the hardware of my industry. The software, the paint and bodywork, I'd never really done it before. The extent of my experience was limited to fixing a couple cracked up snowmobile hoods as far as bodywork and paintwork goes. But I decided to give it a try. It would only increase the value the more successful I was at it years ago now and I enjoy the hell out of this car and I'm glad I put the work into it that I put into it even though I had to do it outside the box try to save a few bucks and figure out the right way for me to make it into what it is today is it perfect hell no but it's a lot better than it was and had I been just content to have a few happy rides and, and call it a car it would have never been what it is today which in to me where we're at now is totally worth it the time the effort the expense the pink boogers, the respiratory issues that I was having by the time I got the damn thing sanded down to where I thought it was worth painting. Totally worth it. My response would be, without naming who I'm responding to, is we cheat ourselves when we say good enough or I'll just ride it out to the end and enjoy what I can 
when a little time and effort would make it that much more enjoyable, even if it is for a short time, or what can amount to just that much longer if only we're willing to make the effort. Thanks for watching this video. Like, share, subscribe, or kiss my ass, because I don't get nothing out of this, but I'm hoping you will.